What's good guys and welcome back to another video with me, The Sickle Diary and I know guys it has been a crazy long time before since I've actually uploaded a video so I'm very sorry I, as you guys know I have some serious issues with my computer but it is all good. Anyways how about we skip past all of that and let us get straight on with this topic today because I've been waiting to talk to you about this. So, as you can tell by the title, this is the dating video. <laughs> ah, honey. Oh, I'm gonna need a juice for this. So, let's just get straight up into the video. Let me just start from the beginning. Dating with sicker cell is not the one. Believe me. Yeah, you have to deal with assholes, excuse my language, uneducated people, which, you know, I'm actually not too, like I don't mind if I'm honest with you because you can educate and you know, the ones that are willing to learn about sicker cell are the ones you probably might wanna keep around. And then you just got done dumb people like I don't mean to be horrible but I'm just gonna keep it real yeah you have stupid people so let's talk about the bad dates shall we now for other sicklers I don't know how it is for you but please if you relate to anything I'm talking about hit me up in the comments down below I could do with a good laugh to know that I'm not the only one that goes through it <laughs> anyways so for me Dating has always been a, <laughs> that's the best way I can put it to you. Because my problem, I would say is, I keep meeting people who are just stupid. And I wouldn't even say that in like a bad way, okay? I would say more so like, they just don't want to take the time to learn or get to know i'm not saying you know the first five seconds boom let's talk about sick cell i'm sick and then you to look after me because that is the issue. yeah let me just get straight into story time so uh let's say two years ago i went on a date and you know the guy was really nice like i told him from the get-go you know like like you know when you do the whole back and forth how are you you know what what are you into what you like what you dislike etc and so forth for me i usually tend to lead off with you know after i've explained my like my background like okay i have a blood disorder because i've learned that you keep that hidden yeah it don't play off well for you honey so you know we were having a conversation you know we went out to to eat and we were sitting down we were just talking and he just simply said to me so you know how bad does it get so i had explained well it varies as you sicklers know we can't put a date we can't put a time like okay sickle cell is gonna attack me on friday at two okay i know i can't see nobody no you don't get a say babe it just comes and that's a lot a lot of people don't understand but anyways so he was like, oh, okay. And then this is when the bomb drops. He goes silent. He looks at me and then he says, well, I hope you know, I'm not looking after you. You know, if you want me to come to the hospital, I'm not about to do that. I'm not about that life. I don't want to be a carer. Yeah, 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 yeah. This, this, this is exactly how I had to deal with it. So I said, I accept that. And I simply looked at him and I said, one, I was never asking you to look after me. Two, I don't like certain people coming to the hospital to visit me anyways, except for close ones. So that's not even a problem. And three, I think this is where our date ends. So I packed up my stuff and I left. Okay, I know a lot of people that I did talk to about this were just like, why would you just get up and leave? One, guys, I'm not looking for anybody to look after me. Let's just, let me just put that right there. Never. I will rather show you I can walk no fool when I can't. I'm not about to let anybody come and look after me when I've got a family. Excuse me. And two, 
I just don't need that. That's someone that is not going to be willing to understand what I go through. So imagine like we booked, oh, booked you know, imagine we set a date for like a week in advance, like, and I, in that week, I get sick. That's someone that's gonna be like, well, you know what, I ain't got time for you. Instead of me getting hurt, honey, I'm just gonna get up and leave. And that's when the other chick said, wow, I didn't know sick people were uptight. I just went to take my coffee cup and box in one. But you know what, you know, the, the calm person in me just said, you know what, just leave, it's not worth your time. And I tell you what, it wasn't worth my time, and I'm really happy about that. So, as you can see, dating is not the easiest. You do have the odd few that are more than willing to learn about you and are, you know, sympathetic and they understand what you're going through. As I said before, I am not looking for someone to look after me. It's all about, you know, you just want to get to know someone, have fun, but I come with a little baggage. I, I'm sorry, but it's what I, I it's something I can't help. And that's another thing that I need to stop doing. I need to stop apologizing for something I cannot control. I cannot control sickle cell, yeah? I cannot control sickle cell. The people that don't understand really think I have a way of controlling it. What about you guys? Like, you know, when you are dating, do you have the same issue? Because I, go, I do, and a girl needs some help. <laughs> like, how to deal with it? Anywho, so yeah, I, I got up and I bounced and I never spoke to him again ever you know that's not something that's not what I need in my life like I'm not gonna let one person make me feel bad about my illness and two I've never given anyone the impression that I need to be looked after no 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 I look after myself I'd rather freaking well walk up a bunch of stairs than tell my mum I'm in pain you see what I'm saying like no anywho so We'll fast forward to a year ago <laughs> when I started talking to someone else. We got really close, like he was so understanding, like I was really falling for this person and you know he knew about my sickle cell and you know he was flexible with it because you know there are some times when I'm unwell and you know he would just talk to me about it and ask me how the pain is and everything. And then one day, he just switched up on me. Like, I, I don't know what happened, you know. It just, he got frustrated with me and my pain. And, you know, he was really polite about it. And, you know, he did apologize to me, but as he said, he was just like, I can't deal with someone who is not available. And it hurt, <laughs> I will be honest. It did hurt because I really tried. I really tried, but as I said, and I will keep saying, I cannot control it. If I have woken up and I can't move my legs, I'm not about to force myself out on a date where I'm gonna be high to my eyeballs, wanting to sleep, all I wanna do is cry, you know, and you want me to come out on a date or go cinema and you want me to keep my legs in a position, so for instance, like cinema, and be comfortable, like, no, I'm sorry. I've learnt that me and my illness come before anyone else. It took me a long time to get here and I ain't about to let anyone make me feel shitty for it, excuse my language, but I'm not, I refuse. So, you know, I still talk to this person now and he still tries to get there, but now I've put up that wall. like. You weren't interested before and you couldn't handle how many times I was being sick. So what's gonna change now? I'm not about to waste my time. So yeah. So far, as you guys can see, dating for a sickler is not easy. And this is the one main problem. Oh, but on your socials, you don't look sick. No, I don't look sick. Follow the sickle diary and you'll see me sick. Yeesh, like this is what they expect. You tell someone that you have a problem. Always tries to cut me off at the most crucial time. Anyways, as I was saying, you try to tell someone, you know, that you have a disability or there is something wrong and because of what you look like on the outside, it's like, <laughs> yeah, 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 you can still control it. But no, we can't. 
if my legs decide they don't want to work or my eyesight goes or my arms don't want to function there is no point me forcing myself out to have, go on a date and then you're going to be more upset with the fact that this person hasn't enjoyed your time you're going to feel more pissed that you've wasted your time you see what i'm saying so yeah dating is not easy but i like to bring it in on a like a positive note I have seen sicklers and I have spoken to sicklers, especially my female warriors, who find someone. And hey, I had someone who looked after me, loved me, flaws and all. And that just showed me that someone out there is going to be willing to love me and and be with me despite what I come with. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> that sounds like I got something bad. <laughs> But you know, as I said, it does end on a positive note, you know. I have sickle of female warriors who are married. They have kids. They are happy. So I know my happiness is coming, girl. I ain't upset. I gotta feel through all these goddamn frogs. But I know at the end, I'm gonna be freaking happy. Because I'm brilliant, yeah? I am brilliant. I will toot my own bloody horn. I'm great. <laughs> Listen, ain't nobody else gonna give you confidence but yourself. And I have to, had to learn it, especially as a, this whole subject, especially when it comes to dating, you have to have some form of confidence about yourself. And, you know, I've got to that point. No point hiding anymore, no point, oh, I'm a little sick girl, and nobody wants to be with me. And I've just got to that point now, I, I don't freaking care. Like, the next person that comes into my life, I am a firm believer that they will accept me for who I am and they will love me and cherish me. It's not about looking after me. It's never been about looking after me. I have always never wanted someone to look after me. I want my partner to know I can look after myself. You know, I want them to know that, yeah, the help is always welcome and I appreciate it, but I got it. And if I can't get it, yes, I'm stubborn and I still won't tell you I can't do it. But I know that you're there to help me. So, I ain't, I'm not worried. When my time comes, my Prince Charming will be somewhere. So it's an all positive for me, because I've now just come to the conclusion that I'm going to take it in my own hands and have a kid. <laughs> this may be shocking to you, but I have had multiple, you know, talks with the doctors, and as I'm getting closer to the big number, I'm not about to discuss my age, <laughs> I've decided because of how bad my sickle cell is you know my nurses are telling me you know you need to be prepared to have a kid soon so whether I have someone or I don't I'm about to have a kid not now <laughs> but I'm about to take myself on that journey like I'm not I'm not waiting for my happiness you get what I mean before I was like you know what I'll wait for my happiness to come to me no nah. I'm about to take it in my own hands and run with it because it's hard it is hard being a sickler and you've got to go through so much relationship friendships you know and depression and oh uh, it, it's so complicated but i'm strong i got a great support system you guys have got a great support system you know i'm here if you need me for anything holler at your girl you know i'll be more than willing to chat so I'm I'm on this positive flex. At the end of every video, I'm really trying to be positive. Like there's always a positive outcome. So yes, I know this started off really rough and my dating experience has not been great. And I know I've only shelled off two. Believe me, I've had worse. I have had worse. One time I told one guy I had sickle cell and he blocked and deleted me. <laughs> he was like, uh, block, delete. I looked at my phone and I was like, another one bites the dust. You clearly weren't meant to be in my life. I have had, oh, is that something you can catch? Is that like a STD? Oh! <laughs> I had to block and delete that one for myself. Like, what you, fuck out of here. Please excuse my language again. Like I'm telling you, sometimes it gets real. It gets so real. Because I know I've had so many friends 
like you need to go speed dating you need to do this honey I've just come to the conclusion I'm not looking for no man I never have anyways but nah most of my warriors that I've spoken to have all told me they came like their partners came to them like they were more willing to be understanding so you know what when my time comes my time comes whether or not I'm with someone I'm gonna have a kid I'm gonna live my life to the fullest and I'm not gonna give two shits I'm sorry I only live once and my life can go like that and I need to live it more I have not got time I know I've got to filter through some of this but mate dating is long <laughs> it is so long but you know out of it I will meet someone eventually but it's really not on the top of my list and sometimes I wonder why my friends want me to get to get with someone so badly but guys it's not like there ain't people there they're just stupid <laughs> I'll be real with you they're just stupid <laughs> but anyways guys this I'm sorry has been a very quick but kind of short video I'm trying to keep them nice and light I will be back but from now on I will not have a video out every week I will be back in two weeks so I have more time to sort out my laptop editing and YouTube because uploading is a stretch it takes two days for my laptop to just upload to YouTube and that's not because of my internet it's literally just because of my laptop I will be back with the next video in two weeks and that will be a video on my hip I had an appointment today but we'll get into that when the next video comes out so make sure you hit that like button subscribe and come on i shouldn't have to tell you again hit the bell guys hit that bell but yes i will see you in two weeks time don't miss me that much <laughs> but i hope you have a wonderful weekend and a great start to the rest of the week also my arm guys it's much better i'm doing okay um i i feel like the more happier i've been every time i wake up the better so it's fingers up from here guys so on that note i will see you in two weeks